Welcome to 3 Minutes to Explain Multi-Criteria Decision Making. I'm James, and I'm a PhD student studying as part of the Centre of Water Systems at the University of Exeter. I'm also part of the WISE Centre for Doctoral Training, which is a programme based on water, informatics, science and engineering. So what is multi-criteria decision making? Or simply put, multi-criteria decision making is the process undertaken when choosing a course of action in response to multiple and often conflicting objectives. A straightforward example would be to think about building a new reservoir. If we have one objective, to build a reservoir with maximum capacity, this would be easy. However, life isn't as straightforward as this. In reality, we need to consider many other factors, such as the cost and environmental impact of our plan. In this situation, we can use our human judgment to work out a compromise. This is what we do every day when we make decisions. For example, is it worth spending another 20p on my tin of baked beans to improve the quality? In my case, not. I'm a student. But it's the sort of thing we think about all the time. Intuition and human judgment is appropriate for the weekly shop. When we're designing infrastructure to serve a city, we really need to be able to measure and reason our decision. Multi-criteria decision-making methods provide us with a tool to do this in a logical and robust way. There are lots of methods used to do this, but most are based on applying numerical values to the comparison of objectives and criteria. Important concepts when doing this are satisficing, which is looking for a satisfactory outcome to all parameters, and waiting, which is the act of prescribing more importance to a certain objective. The first thing to do when making a multi-criteria decision is to work out what objectives we have to meet and then decide on how important each objective is by weighting it accordingly. We can then measure each option against these objectives. There are many ways of making this comparison. One of the most commonly used is called goal programming. When using this method, you assign each objective a target to achieve and apply a function to minimise the distance between each objective and their target simultaneously. In this method, you generally assume each parameter is weighted equally, and so the solution with the overall minimum distance to all parameters is deemed the best trade-off. But what happens when we can't think of an appropriate weighting? One solution to this is to use an analytical hierarchy process. AHP lets us break down our problem into a subset of smaller problems composed of a goal, objectives and our alternative solutions. We can then tackle our sub-problems individually through a comparison of pairs one at a time. AHP then allows us to combine these sub-comparisons into one final solution, allowing us to include weightings which we can demonstrate have been put together in a logical and robust way. These decision-making processes have a wide variety of applications in water engineering, with source selection for new reservoirs, risk management and resource allocation, to name but a few. For more information about WISE or multi-criteria decision making, please look at the links below.